Hey guys, today we're talking about combining the iPhone with the Sandmark anamorphic lens. This little combo makes for a unique filmmaking experience. It's a lot of fun to use, produces quasi-cinematic results, and if you've ever wondered what this little guy can do, stick around. Oh, and I'm gonna be giving this away to one of you guys out there to try out for yourself. So, all those details and more coming right up. Now I love outdoor adventures, so I took a solo overnight mountain biking trip in southern Utah and I really put this little lens to the test. I attached it to my iPhone 12 Pro and I may have gotten a little overly excited about using it like a GoPro. I had a mouthpiece mount, um, I put it on a selfie stick and that selfie stick also converted into a short little travel tripod, all of which helped me get some pretty interesting angles and perspectives. By the way, these accessories are down in the description if you wanna check those out. Oh, and I also use a drone because who doesn't love aerial shots? Here's a quick look at how some of those shots turned out. fun making that and documenting my trip. I try to avoid gear acquisition syndrome when possible, but sometimes there's just nothing like a new piece of gear or a new technique to help get the creative juices flowing. There was a small learning curve and some drawbacks, but I'll get to those in a minute. First of all, what even makes an anamorphic lens so special? Well, you probably already know about the that sweet blue horizontal lens flare that you see when it's pointed into the sun or bright light. That's a dead giveaway. It was so popular in 2019, 55 different films were shot on anamorphic. But also, did you see where the black bars came into that opening scene? That was a drone shot, but the crop was mimicking a wide cinematic aspect ratio that you see on the big screen. With an actual anamorphic lens though, you don't have to mimic that effect. It's native to the lens. And instead of cropping into the frame, the anamorphic lens is, is keeping all of the vertical space of the sensor and then squeezing extra visual information in on the sides. And when you de-squeeze the image, it comes out 2.4 times wider than it is tall. Look at the element up close. See how it's curved and, and cylindrical? Well, that's how it does it. Anamorphic lenses for cinema cameras or even just a mirrorless camera are pretty pricey. The beauty of this little kit is that it's just $130, which is much more attainable for someone who just wants to dip their toe in the anamorphic waters like me. Full disclosure, Sendmark sent me this lens to try out and share my experience with you, but they didn't pay me anything to make this video and they didn't see it before I hit publish. So this is just my unfiltered, unbiased take. It was basically just a fun learning experience and a good excuse to get out, get creative and try something different. I was actually sorely tempted to to keep this for myself, but by giving it to one of you guys, hopefully you can have fun with it and get out and get creative with it too. Or if you just wanna buy the lens outright, I'll drop a 10% off discount code down below. So what does the anamorphic lens kit include? Well. It includes a case for your specific iPhone, or if you have an Android phone, there's a clip that will go on there. A handy little sack with a lens cleaning cloth inside, and of course the lens itself with a front and rear cap, which is 
really handy. The case though, the case is really important. You have to get this specific case for your phone. It's threaded aluminum where you screw the lens on and it's actually really rigid and sturdy. You have to be sure you're using the regular wide angle lens for best results. So you, uh, you carefully thread on the anamorphic lens so it's good and snug. And this part is crucial. Be sure that the notches on the top of the lens and the case line up perfectly. I recommend that you keep checking it between shots, otherwise you'll shoot a whole scene and then you'll see that they weren't lined up and your picture will be totally distorted and you'll have this psychedelic image and <laughs> nobody wants to see that. When it's actually attached correctly, the image is surprisingly good and sharp. But you can see here I, I messed up on the alignment and it has a strange fun house kind of tilt to it. So here's where the learning curve steepens. The unedited footage itself comes out squeezed and disproportionate. So to expand the picture, you'll either need to A, de-squeeze the footage on your computer with a, a video editor like Final Cut, or B, do it in camera on your phone during capture with an app like Filmic Pro. Option B is what I would recommend because then while you're shooting, what you see is what you get. Plus, if you want to get serious about iPhone filmmaking, Filmic Pro is a must-have app anyway. Either way, de-squeezing is not a huge deal. Uh, just some extra steps there to take advantage of that anamorphic goodness. Another drawback is that all anamorphic lenses have a small aperture, so be careful shooting in low light. Smartphones are already terrible in low light, especially with video. I definitely had some unexpected noise to deal with that almost made some of the footage unusable. Also, on the far edges of the frame, the sharpness falls off. I kind of just embraced that as a stylistic quirk. It didn't bother me too much. The large center portion though in the in the middle of the frame stayed nice and crispy. All things considered though, I was pretty impressed with the picture quality. The the autofocus worked well through the lens. The no plastic build quality is great. And I was surprised at just how much fun it was playing with that super wide format. If you take the time to learn Filmic Pro and you set up your shots with a tripod or stabilizer, you can get some really clean, beautiful results. And I do recommend another add-on though, if you're trying to go for maximum quality and the extra cinematic look, it's the Sandmark Scape ND filters. They screw right onto the front of the anamorphic lens and that'll give you 24 frames per second, which makes your footage look even less iPhone-y. Okay, so here it is. If you want to enter the giveaway and win this anamorphic lens with an iPhone case, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and simply comment below telling me why you'd like to have it. Also, if you put your Instagram handle in the comment, it will be easier for me to reach out and contact you when you win. I'll randomly pick a winner on June 14th, 2021, and good luck on your entry. Please like and subscribe for more outdoor photography and filmmaking adventures, and I will see you guys down the road.